Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the Household Searchlight Recipe Book of 1937, we're going to be making the peanut butter sandwich. You'll never guess what's in it. We start off naturally enough with peanut butter, but then we add celery, raisins, and green bell pepper. Oh, but we're not done. A few drops of Tabasco, and we're going to moisten it with mayonnaise. Don't forget a little salt. Then we put that on the buttered bread. Mm-hmm. You know it. A lot of folks asking lately, uh, why so much buttered bread? Well, bread used to stale quickly, so there's that. And it also acts as a moisture barrier to keep the bread from sogging out from the ingredients. Okay, let's give this peanut butter sandwich a go. It's interesting, because peanut butter obviously has some savory applications and has some sweet applications. This combines them with the raisins and the celery and the bell peppers and the little heat of Tabasco. I might go so far as to say this isn't bad. So here's the deal. I'm not 100% sure what I want to plus this up with. Um, so why don't you leave in the comments what you think I should plus it up with and please be, you know, real. Don't say like sandpaper or something. Um, and I'll take the top four that get mentioned and revisit the sandwich soon. I'd probably give this original peanut butter sandwich a five. It's really not bad. It's just different. I don't know how else to describe it. You've got sweet and savory and peanut butter and heat. Yeah, interesting. Definitely going to finish it, though. Why not? It's lunch. All right. See you tomorrow.